Rogers, this is Sophia, and Caitlin, and welcome back to another day of WRSN. In today's show, we'll be covering the NHS Spring Service Project, cover the Newman vs. Suncoast baseball game, and take a look at what our Chargers are wearing today. Let's get right into it. Students continue to dress out for Spirit Day, and today's theme was New vs. Old, where underclassmen dressed up as babies or toddlers and seniors dressed up as seniors. Let's check out some of our Chargers outfits today. Tomorrow's dress-up day is green versus gold. Make sure to dress up, Chargers. NHS had their annual spring service project to assemble, fill, and decorate care packages. Let's head over to Lauren to find out more on what they did. The National Honor Society held its spring service project after school on Monday, April 10th. Members gathered in the cafeteria to assemble, decorate, and fill care packages for a local women's shelter. NHS members brought in donations such as toothbrushes, toothpaste, and feminine care products to help these women. So today we created a bunch of little necessary item packs for the women's of the women's shelter. Um, I really like this service project idea because the, there's this shelter for women and their children in West Palm Beach where they are either escaping from abusive situations or are homeless and they don't have enough money to afford basic necessities such as these items. I also really like this idea because I felt like it was really fun and efficient. Um, it's spring, everybody's busy, so I just wanted to get everybody in and out. And we were also able to create um, about over 100 packs for these women in the women's shelter. This is one of the many successful events that the NHS officers, overseen by Ms. Ramsey, have been able to plan this year. to an end. It's my first year as advisor. Um, it was a really great year. Emily Cuba is our service project head along with another senior, um, but she really took like the whole of this service project, um, reached out to the local women's shelter in order for us to get this all organized. Um, she facilitated all of the donations um, and helped order the things that we didn't have enough of. She really put our entire all and heart into this. Um, and NHS as a whole backed her. Um, we're packing over 150 boxes today to donate to the local women's shelter and we're really excited about it. This has been Lauren for WRSN. Thank you, Lauren. During lunch, stu many students have been watching their friends playing the dodgeball tournament. The winners of yesterday's dodgeball games were the Rancho Coco Manga Quakes, MSU Spartans, Fairleigh Dickinson University, Gamecocks, and Iron Pigs. Today's dodgeball tournament is scheduled for the teams Rancho Cucamonga Quakes versus the MSU Spartans, and then the winner of that game will play the Gamecocks on the East Court. On the West Court, we have the Iron Pigs versus Fairleigh Dickens University. Be sure to stop by to support your favorite teams. Speaking of games, the boys' baseball team played Newman recently. Let's head over to Bella and Daisy to find out how they did. The Suncoast Chargers baseball team faced the Cardinal Newman Crusaders. The Chargers played hard, but unfortunately did not receive the outcome they wanted. With a tough loss of 5-1 runs, the Chargers reflected on their mistakes and came up with a strong win against Royal Palm. Against Newman, we had a tough loss and, I mean, we were playing well and then everything just fell apart. Basically, we had a, some mental mistakes. The next day, we came out and beat Royal Palm. It was a big win and then we have a... Uh, 
big game tonight and big senior night, I think we're going to be good. The score did not reflect the intensity of the game. Despite the four-point deficit, Manuel Ones had an RBI and Nathan Stafford had a run in the fifth inning. Definitely got unlucky with the sky and everything, but just could have strung a couple more hits in important situations that I feel like we would have been better off. With our Chargers keeping their heads high, they are pumped to play Oxford in the upcoming senior night game. Come watch them play on Tuesday, April 11th, and support the seniors for their senior night. This has been Bella and Daisy with WRSN. Now back to the studio. Thank you, Bella and Daisy. Now let's check out what clubs are happening today. Before we end off today's show, let's wish these Chargers a very happy birthday. Happy birthday, Chargers. That's all for today. This has been Caitlin and Sophia with WRSN. Thanks, Thanks for tuning in. in.